Hey everybody, welcome to today's video on the channel, and in today's video, I want to talk about the state of PvP in 2023. Now, right now, as we all know, in this current update, the game really isn't doing well. You know, whether you've quit over the past couple of months because of some of the choices from Kingsal, or you're playing right now, a lot of PvP is just really unplayable and not very good. And in this video, I'd like to bring up basically you know, take a bunch of different areas of PvP and why players are not having fun with it like they used to anymore and why it's just a very unenjoyable uh, experience to PvP, uh, whether you're a low rank player or a high rank player. But I will say the higher rank you go in PvP, the worse things get in terms of game balancing and game design, unfortunately. But if I leave out anything in this video, or you guys agree or disagree with any of my points, let me know why down there in the comments below, respectively, of course. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this video, y'all. Number one, pay to win. Now, this is a very, very recent thing in the community, guys. Now, if you're somebody who's quit even the past, like, I don't know, six months, you probably don't know much about this. However, the new Burrow pack that came out has been extremely extremely pay to win and the reason it's pay to win is because it pretty much gives every single stat it gives you shads pierce resist damage you know health uh pips or accuracy it gives you basically everything but the problem is there's no free to play alternative that this launched with and there's still no free to play alternative to this day and the pack has been out for weeks now so this has been extremely, extremely disruptive, and the past couple of packs, like the Nightmire pack, the Skyfarer pack, they have all kind of followed this pay-to-win loot system, you know? Uh, the Mire gear is extremely powerful, and it's like impossible to farm. Uh, Skyfarer, you literally cannot farm that at all, and the deck is the best deck for every school. And here we go with the, the Burrow pack, where, you know, spells are disrupting level 50 PvP and max level because they're locked behind a pack, but also the max level gear is just objectively the best gear in the game right now. And as somebody who's already spent 100k crowns on this pack, I do not have the hat for the death or the balance because I got rid of it like an idiot. But the thing is, I cannot play on those schools right now if I do not have that piece of gear and I'm not interested in spending more than, I mean, 100k I already spent on the game, you know, I'm just not interested in doing that So I just literally cannot bring you guys balance or death content because of how overpowered and oppressive that pack is And I'm just not gonna spend anymore because 100k crowns That's just a bit much for one pack, you know, dude So this can lead into my next point of pvp not being accessible now This has been a lot, a, you know, a long time problem for a while whether it's because spell elements whether it's because pets whether it's because it's, you know, extremely confusing, stuff like that, or whether it's like pay to win, or, you know, you need pins as well. There's a lot of stuff you need to get into PvP nowadays, unfortunately, guys. And um, I think this pay to win point here just really is at the forefront of it. You know, even somebody as, you know, hardcore of a player as myself, right? I literally have everything but i did not pay to win so i literally cannot play my death my balance on my death right now without being at like an objective disadvantage right now in pvp so i really think the devs and kingsile need to start listening to the community's feedback within stuff in the meta you know i actually haven't gotten to that point in the next point here but stuff with the meta uh, the community complaining about the pet system the jewel system the pin system you know uh spell elements right just stuff like that. I think they really actually need to listen to that and start acting upon it because I've been hearing for so long now, PvP is inaccessible, yada yada. I want to PvP, I love to PvP, but I just don't understand what's going on and it's too inaccessible and I don't feel like I have a reason to play it, you know? So I feel like with the amount of feedback that has, well, that those points that have been said the past year, nothing has been done to address that, unfortunately, it seems like. So I'd really like to see them actually listen to that feedback of everything you need to get into PvP is just way too hard, way too tedious, and unfun to get. 
Next up, I'm going to talk about the meta. Now, this is probably one of the biggest points you see a lot of high-ranked PvP players quit. You know, we've seen a lot of Storm and Fire mains quit ever since 5th Age came out because of the big gear audit that always will favor the defensive schools right now uh, in this current time and age in 5th Age. Uh, the gear has been extremely unbalanced all of 5th Age. Storm and Fire has been dog shit all of 5th Age, you know. I, I think there's literally only Sauce and I that QR Storms at a high ranks right now. And if you're talking like 1900 plus, I'm the only Storm that plays at 1900 plus consistently. So it, it's really sad to see, you know, how bad some schools have been for almost two years now. And we've been giving them so much feedback on why schools are bad. And, you know, they have listened, they have, you know, buffed parts about, you know, Fire and Storm here and there. Uh, especially Storm, it's got a lot of buffs. But it's still just a bad school because they're ignoring the problem of the gear being way too good and way too oppressive from those defensive schools. That's why right now on the leaderboard you see every top tier school, the first page, is all the defensive schools right now because of how, at the fundamental core, how the gear is designed from the ground up. Right now in the meta, if you are pinned or warded to a school you don't need to be, you can literally win that game while playing worse. Right now in the meta, you can literally have such good stats on defensive schools, you can run 4 wards, 2 pins, and 2 wards, and not give up a single stat right now in the meta. Like, look at a school like Balance, for example. It, that's why Balance is dominating leaderboards right now, because you just win every matchup that you get, because your stats are so good, your shots are so good, Brace is so good, like, just everything around that school is so good, which is why Balance is, like, the best school right now in the game. And there's tons of spells within PvP itself, you know, like trap counters, weakness counters not being good for everybody, uh, you know, wards and pins, you know, Q stamping and setting. There's all these big problems that have been complained about up within the high rank community for a while now. And if you guys watch the channel, I've been talking about these serious problems with Q sniping, pin, ward, and all these like broken cards and broken strats, you know? And I've been talking about this for a while now, but and then now people are just finally starting to be like, oh shit, Liam was right, you know? But it's really hard because when I'm like the only high-ranked Storm or one of the few extremely high-ranked players within PvP at max level in the game, if I'm only one guy that can talk about the problems, the devs aren't really going to be like, oh, it's not like a big deal, you know? Or you guys watching this video, you know, you might be not doing PvP, you might be a recruit, you might be a veteran, right? You won't understand what happens all the way at the top and how that trickles down into the ranks uh, with things, right? So I am happy that the community is very unified now. You know, it took us long enough to get to this point, but I'm really hoping they can do something about things being blatantly broken. Like, you know, uh, Q-sniping and setting with pin and award, especially on schools that don't need it, right? Um, PvE strategies in PvP, right? You literally see Warlords doing the easiest, most brain-dead strats, just trap, 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 blade, 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 and this, the counters aren't good, right? Same thing with weakness counters and trap counters. The counters still aren't good. I know they did buff them recently, but again, that only buffs them. That update only buffed them for the schools that they're already good on. So like Ice Wyvern, Centaur are only good on those schools itself because the, you know, the traps and blades are not chromatic, so other schools can't use them. So the meta is just extremely unfun, and it doesn't not reward you at all for playing well. You can literally objectively play worse in every single way. As long as you are set, it doesn't matter. And that's the meta we're in right now, unfortunately, if you're a high rank player. And again, that trickles down the ranks slowly over time. I've been saying this for months now, half a year now, and finally we're seeing the repercussions because of that. Because, well, King Zal didn't listen when I was like, yo, this is kind of dumb, you know? And like I said, I've seen so many people quit because they're just tired of seeing the same thing every update over and over. Like, oh my god, I got q Snape. Oh my god, this guy's warded when he doesn't need to be. He trapped into the trap, you know? Uh, make ass brace, you know? There's just so much pay to win now, right? There's so much bullshit in the game. As a player, it feels like the game does not respect your time right now. And then... On top of that, like I briefly touched on at the start of the video here, guys, is there's nothing to play for 
If you sit down and you ask yourself, why are you doing PvP right now? I can't come to a logical conclusion, right? Me personally, right? And I'm a content creator, you know, I'm a very high, high ranked player on every school that I play, like, you know, 1900 plus. And, you know, even me who gets like, you know, gold keys, every everything you, every time you win at high rank, you get gold keys pretty much. But um, that's not good enough of an incentive. And what about the majority of your players that are lower ranks, like, you know, recruit, sergeant, veteran, knight, captain even, you know, stuff like that. They don't even get anything for playing, right? There's no, like, crowns for finishing top 10. There's no cool cosmetics to go for. And there's, like, one gear set that's been there for, like, two years now. And I, nobody really likes it. Maybe aside from, like, the Warlord cards, they're okay. But, um... Yeah, man, like, th there just really needs to be more reasons to play. Because, like, even as somebody, man, who, you know, does content, and, you know, I pretty much get paid to make content, right, on the game... Even me, like, I don't stream PvP very often. I do not enjoy streaming PvP because it is such a chore with the meta being bad and the sniping being unpun unpunished, unpenalized, and takes them forever to do anything about people cheating in their game, even when there is substantial evidence between multiple creators. So I'm just really hoping that they can start listening to the community on stuff like this because, you know, you just see it, you see it trickle down the board, you see... The ranks get smaller and smaller, like less people within Captain, Knight, Marshal, Warlord, every season now. And if you ask somebody, they don't really... Again, you, what do you PvP for? Right? There's nothing to play for. Like Maybe it's fun. Maybe it's something to do. Right? But after that wears off, what do you play for? There's nothing to go for. There's no incentive. And the meta sucks. And we cannot get more people in there because it's inaccessible. There's a big cheating problem within the ranks, but yeah, I mean, that's everything I got to say for the video, y'all. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this stuff down below in the comments, you know, if I missed anything, please let me know. You know, videos like this, I feel like need to get out there for the developers to see, and as a community, we really need to come together and do something about all these problems I listed in the video, because at the end of the day, like, you know, Kings Out can do better, we can do better. Everybody can do better at the end of the day. And I'm just tired of seeing this game that I love be not fun, just unfair, not playable. And I'm tired of seeing people that love your game quit it because you're just not listening or there's no actual good changes coming, you know? So I don't know, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching this far. And as always, take care, y'all.